So Hacktober 2020 is here. It is a month long celebration of open source organized by DigitalOcean where developers can contribute to different open source projects on GitHub and they get free stuff like t-shirts and stickers based on their contributions, their pull requests done on different open source projects. So you'd say it's a great thing for open source community, right? But is it? So this is what happened this year and it should stop. Is this what open source contribution is become now? This year it's even said and I quote, Hacktober is a corporate sponsored distributed denial of service attack against the open source maintainer community. So maintainers are angry and are questioning this event and now it's seen and I'm not saying that it is all totally because of the event that is organized and is not the first time or the first year of this Hacktober event but some people say this that it is not the first year that this has happened but this year it is at large there is a twitter account created just to showcase some bad prs made this year the maintainers can tag or mention this twitter account in their tweet and they will retweet it if you go on the account there are thousands of retweets made and the account was created in october and today is 3rd October. So you can imagine the magnitude of spamming that is done on open source projects this year. So now let's talk about what happens when a bad PR request is made. So when a bad pull request is made, the maintainer has to go and check that pull request and see if it is a spam or not. And if it's a spam, then tag it as a spam or invalid and close it all the contributors or developers that are watching that repository will get a notification regarding all the pull requests that is made to that repository so these kind of things are a headache for both the maintainers and the contributors so the question is where did it started from now i did some searching and found that there is a youtuber who created a video on how you can get free stuff during this hacktober fest in the video, he showed how to contribute by changing one line or adding the word amazing in the readme file. Now, I don't know the intention of the creator was to help people to get free stuff or to motivate them to contribute. Now, I haven't seen the whole video. I tried to search it on YouTube, but what I found was this private notice. But I saw a video of another YouTuber and there are articles written about this as well and the maintainers are tweeting about this all along so as you can see that brad traversy has also tweeted about these spam pull requests and you can see different tweets by different people and there is a github user who has added a note and different links regarding these spams and hacktober fest and DigitalOcean, who has organized this event has also shared the concerns regarding the spamming that is going on on the open source projects and has told the maintainers to mark the contribution as invalid or spam so this has been the whole thing around the hacktober fest this year and what next is the question here. So the Hacktoberfest is still on. I mean, it's just the start and it's till the end of the October. So what I want to say is that what has happened is done and it cannot be undone. So from now on, it's about stopping the bad PRs and it can only be done by the contributors. So if you want to contribute, if you really want to contribute to open source projects, then do it but don't do like this by adding amazing in the readme file might get you a t-shirt but it won't get you the respect in the open source community october has just started and is a nightmare for the maintainers let's not make it worse so this is all that is going on in the hacktober fest 2020 and there is a vs code video coming real soon so stay tuned for that 
and if you haven't subscribed to the channel then this is the time subscribe to the channel i guess that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one